every cast is weird. When you think it just doesn't get better than this, back to another episode and this is the what we have been talking about in our midweek special um, videos is the weather so we've had this weather and I know it's windy on the microphone but I'm doing it on purpose because it's been like this for about six days now we've been camped here at Port Victoria not able to record okay that's pretty bad let me stand here not able to record or do any videos but the weather does come good and we've decided to um, leave the York Peninsula now um, and head around to the Air Peninsula because we've got a few more weeks um, left before we actually start heading to WA. And um, we've teamed up with our good friends, Jason and Lisa. Have a look at that rig. They're going to be traveling with us for a bit, but check this weather out. It is, I mean, it's, it's yesterday gusted 70 kilometer uh, 70 winds. So the van's been shaking. Um, generally, we don't like to tow in this weather, but it has come down a bit. We're going to be traveling a bit north. Susan, so I'll get a dog in the van. I filled up. Gonna chuck Starlink away. Come on, let's go. We've managed to pull up at Crystal Brook, it's like a little RV park. It is um, apparently free, and we've just pulled up. It's actually quite a nice little spot. It's actually got nice barbecues. So if you're traveling without any cooking equipment, the barbecue table, look this beautiful little place. And it's right on the corner of town. Toilets, there's a fair few people here. And there's town right over there. I'm not going to lie to you. I already had a pastry. It was very nice. I must be honest. Well, there you can hear the wind is still blowing a tickle, but um, apparently it's supposed to die off tonight. Um, I'm just charging up our um, battery for our vacuum because the floors are a mess. It is Friday. Let's go in. Bob, what do you reckon, mate? So. He's been standing up at the door. What do you reckon? But It's Friday, isn't it? It's Friday, yeah! We always seem to start our videos on a Friday uh, because uh, this is where Sue is not working and we can get some filming well, done. Sue's not um, working. Oh, she's currently still working, but it's almost uh, 5 o'clock on a Friday. Um, like I said, I've had my pastry. Pastry was good. How was yours? Uh, it was good, thank you. I was starving and I'm going to about crack into my coffee. Got to Ooh. coffee as well. And also what's nice about the little bakery is I bought some um, fresh rolls for tea. So I'm um, not sure what we're doing with that yet. Um, there's a butcher in town, which I'm actually quite interested in going to have a look at. We can stock up on some, some fresh meat, but this is what we like to do as well. Is we come to these little towns and, you know, we we're not might not spend thousands of dollars, but we tend to buy some groceries and some pastries and go to the butcher and support the little local towns, especially when um, they do this little part, this this well, this camp for free. Um, apparently, it's got a dump point. I haven't seen it yet, but on week um, on um, <coughs> wiki camps, there is that says it's, there's a there's a dump point here. So, also, what I would like to say, oh, sorry, I'm going to come outside to show you. So we're towing this van in the wind. It has been very windy, and I've got to say, our setup just runs so well. The way we've got it all set up is, is, is just what we want. Um, it got a little bit, you know, wobbly here and there because well, it is blowing. We don't tend to normally travel with the wind, but I'm growing some confidence on, on, on our rig. And also, it's also I, I will say, possibly it's because our wheels are a little bit further back than most. Now, that comes with a you know, positive and a negative. Negative is um, heavy ball weight. 
Um, we're still in, we're still within the weight. Um, it's, you know, 320 kilos on that ball. So we're just comfortable. I wouldn't want to go heavier than that because of obviously your weights and your GVM and etc. etc. Okay, here we go. So I went over to the butcher, which is over there. Just over there, and that's what's so good about this spot. But on to dinner. Look what I managed to get from the local butcher. These a are um, steak burger. steak patties. So oh yeah, I reckon they are filled. Look at the spices in them, and then Sue's got tomato, onion, balsamic, salt, pepper, a couple of lettuce leaves. Got some cheese, some off cheese, garlic, some salt and pepper, some. Oh, the onions already in there. The onions already in there, and, and then you're just of, gonna have an egg. <clears throat> I am just going to have an egg. And but rolls, fresh, fresh rolls. from the bakery. Tonight is we're doing Build a Burger with um, Trips, uh, Trips Travels, Jason and Lisa. And the way we've parked our van, which the door's over here. So the wooden's coming this way, but Jason and Lisa have parked their van the other way. So we're actually sheltered at their van and they're going to get their barbecue out. And, and we're just going to do it over one there. One more thing. Yeah, what do you got? Like it's better homemade, but oh, oh pesto, basil pesto. Oh, look on at that. The burger. I'm excited. Yeah, just weird. You're Ooh. just weird. You're Something rubbing weird. the weaver. Something weird about me, mate. Weber, weaver. What do you call it here, Weber? Weber. Here we go. I'm on the grill, by the way. You're cooking the boogers. I'm on the grill. You're on the boogers, mate. I'll tell you what, these patties actually do look amazing. So first things first, yeah. how were the burgers last night? The burgers were exceptional. The little butcher across the road it tasted beautiful. It's but, the best burger I've had in a long time. But we caught up with Jason and Lisa this morning and um, the only problem with this campsite, and <laughs> that's our own fault to be fair, when you do park next to a railway, a railway line. Choo choo! We did not expect 11 trains last night. Choo choo! And <laughs> There was, oh, maybe I'm exaggerating because I spoke to another couple here and they said they heard about six or seven. But anyway. I only heard two. They stayed here before. This is our first time here. And they reckon the last time they stayed here, there were only two trains at night. So yeah. it is what it is. Um, I don't know, a bit of broken sleep last night because Bobby would wake up, they'd blow their horn, sound like a freight train, some of them going past. There was one that parked outside. Yeah, obviously had a red light on the railway line for a few minutes, just idling. But you gotta, that is what it is. Simply there was, we've, we've run out of gas this morning. Um, the shower. hardware store's out of gas. <laughs> so uh, no shower this morning. We're gonna do the old, we did the old wet wipe shower. Yeah. And um, today we're going from here, which is, we're still like on the top of the York, just um, south of Port Pirie. We're gonna hop around to the air to Wyella and then um, there's, we know that there's a water point and dump point there, so we're just gonna do it all there, and then we're gonna see if we can get some gas there.
So we're running well today. Barely any wind. There's a bit of a breeze, but we're about 40 k's outside of Whaler. Just pulled up. We thought, why not stop here? Stay around that time where some singers need to be made, don't I? They do indeed. Uh -huh. Just some good old Skippy. What's this? I'm starving. Starving? Good old Skippy. So Toilet break. Yeah, not a bad spot, but clouds have rolled in. That's okay. Looks like it's around the air sort of thing, or at least the side. So, and then we're going to check Willie Weather again and decide from there if we're going to find a camp close to Whaler or we're going to push through to a place called Cal. Just a quick old stop in Whaler at the showground. We're at the Whaler showgrounds, eh? I think we it are. is. And or Derek, sports ground or. Derek just used the damp toilet over there, which is great. It means I got an empty loo. What are you up to now, love? Oh, well, pop up with some water. We had a look at old uh, woolly weather. What? Woolly, woolly weather. And um, the weather looks okay. So we'll head down another 100 and, I don't know, 20 k's or so to uh, Point Gibbon. Excellent. One of, one of our favorites. Tomorrow my, whoa, jeez. Whoa. Oh, easy Whoa, tiger. Easy mate. Yes, that's a full flow you got going on there, lad. Yeah, she's got pressure. Just uh, we've already stopped for Brit like those sangers just not even a half an hour ago, so we'll um, just punch it on to point or just point givens outside Cal. So yeah, Jason and Lisa haven't been there, so we're gonna take them and show them a good time and hopefully that wind doesn't come and we can also gonna be back on the beach. Yes, please. <laughs> Don't you just love South Australia? We are at Point Gibbon. Um, a lot of places were full, and we were coming down the road here, and, I've, and on wiki cams, yeah, in. Got the two of us in, because obviously Jason Lee's got a big, big setup, so we got them in. We pulled out. Also, we've left loads of room. If anyone wants to come off the beach. So Bob's already on the beach with Sue, but Jason's gonna unhitch because the way I've parked, I can't get my car off, and we've got to go back, back to the pay station and pay for our permits. The reason why I didn't stop on the way in, so I was a bit worried we weren't gonna get a spot. So just got here, unhitch, we're gonna drive straight back here. I think it's about five k's back, and we're gonna go and get our permits for a few nights here. Hopefully that wind dies down tonight, otherwise. We can sit right there, tucked away, have a nice cold beer. Beautiful Sunday morning. Um, we've got Derek playing with his rod over there, and um, we've got Mr. Bob who is absolutely desperate for his morning walk. So we're gonna go up the beach.
So here we go. We've swapped over to the um, GoPro now, so you obviously will see a picture and sound quality difference, but we use the GoPro for activities in the water. I'll tell you what, it's looking good. Oh, look at this. Look what I found on the beach. Hey, mate. Let's see. But, um, hey, look, Jason's out already. Now, we all know my fishing ability is not great, but we can only work on it and we can only get better. I don't see any signs of any salmon school or anything. Salmon would be a good fun. I'm not particularly interested in cooking a salmon, but just a little bit of fun would be great. But, um, let's get a Let's get a line in the water. That's a good catch. Every cast is weed. I think that's how Jason's done there. Eh? Yeah, I don't know, but Jason reckons what we could do is we'll give us another, I don't know. We'll go into town and see if we can get some bait. Maybe put a bigger rod out. There's squid in the freezer. There's squid in the freezer. No, well, we can go get some bait and then we can get the big rod or the big surf rod or beach rod, whatever you want to call it. Something I don't really do, but see if we can get some distance, put it up, and maybe, I don't know, see if, see if something will take that. But you know what? They say never give up. But Sue, swing around. I mean, how good is that? That's where we're parked. And this is what we're doing. Beautiful day. Bob, Hello. come mate. You can't go with your dad. He reckons he can go everywhere with his father, this one. Yeah. So here he is. How's it going? How are you going? Guys, it's just on a, an eagle ray. An eagle ray. Yeah, come on. Um, I've got a fresh squid I caught from um, where we were, Rolty Beach. So we just frosted a, a tube. Jason's cut some nice slithers up. I mean, there's a lot of seaweed around. Look at the seaweed. But behind there's um, sand. So we're trying to cast, not far, lobbing it over the seaweed here and trying to see what. on. Not sure what he's on to, but we'll go have a look. Good job, love. What did you get? That's, I think they call this a... Uh, Can't hear you. I think they call these a silver wadding. Apparently we spoke to one of the locals. They only have to be 24. That's a really good Oh, so there you go. One in the bag. One in the bag. <laughs> <Got a fish. 
quick update guys we've um we've actually moved up the beach jason's had a few bites we've only got that one but man look at what we're experiencing here yes the wind is blowing but it's not it's not that bad but it's absolutely spe uh, special night this like yeah this is what i this is what i live for but um we're gonna keep fishing until the sun goes down or totally down there's no light left and maybe what we'll do is if we don't get any more tonight i'll come back in the morning and i'll have another go at it i'm super pumped when you think it just doesn't get better than this Hand on my heart, I did not know we were going to have a full moon tonight. It does not get better than that. I'm so excited. And Jason is onto a massive eagle ray. Ah, he's just snapped him off. Been fighting him for about 10 minutes, but full moon, sunset, good people. You just can't beat that on a Sunday evening. Hi guys, we have arrived at Cowell Foreshore Caravan Park in Cowell. We've got three nights booked. There we have it. Our fishing weapon of choice for the next two days. There's only one thing left to do, and that is to go fishing. I'll give you a little rundown on Jason's boat. I think it's a Savage 379 with a 20 Merc four stroke on the back. And um, the conditions are looking perfect. Sometimes that's too good and we don't catch fish, but we're not coming back until we've caught something. pulled up to spot number one no idea we're just winging it at the moment there's a there's about nine or ten boats around us so we we kind of think we're in a not a bad spot i'll put a little um thing up on the screen here to show you the the the, the vast water that around uh, is around cow and then you actually can go out to the um pretty much the open water over there but it looks a bit bumpy for us at least but so <laughs> Second cast in, no joke, Jason's me uh, witness on this one. And um, I got actually two 
because we were fishing double hook here. I've got two of these things. If you know what these things are, let us know in the comments. No idea. It's got like a black mark on the top. But um, yeah, we're going to keep going. Far out. Oh, oh, what is that? That's a massive fish, mate. It just jumped out the water. Holy moly. Yeah. Just check. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right. Got the anchor rope. Shit. Oh, he's around. Ah, oh, he's got ya. Damn it. Okay, so you have a bigger. You know what it is. It's a, it's a King George, guys. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Well done, mate. They're there. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, good, Sam. Watch that bloody anchor right this time around. That's what, oh yeah, you can get rid of it. Okay. Yeah, we'll just put him on and get him off the... Okay. All right. Yeah, look at that. Jeez, he whacked that. Phew! Not quite what we chase him, but good fun that was. That got me heart racing. Yeah. Whew. Yes, look at that. We decided to keep him. Look, we'll slit him, don't we? Dave actually won't be bled, so if you give him here, I'll bleed him. Yeah, you're happy to do that, mate? Look at that. Phew! So here's where the fun begins, cleaning our fish. And what's nice about this place, it's got a complete cleaning station for fish. You got crab pots, you can, I think it's $2 a pot, you can cook your crabs if you catch them. Um, but we're concentrating on cleaning our uh, fish. We'll show you our catch in a minute. Fishing. You being on the fish? And I've been, well, we've actually, those, um, that footage you've seen was actually just over two days of fishing. So, um, 
yeah, the first day we did really well. The second day we got that um, big salmon and one one squid, and only one um, King George Whiting. But in total, we had an epic few days here, so that's amazing. But also, I've got to say, I've enjoyed actually making this this video. Um, I think we had a, as you can see, we had a lot of fun from my side. What about you, dear, beyond the we camera? We had an awesome time. It's great to be back on the Air Peninsula and especially experience it um, again with um, awesome mates. Um, but that's it for this episode. I um, hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to enjoy nice fresh fish cooked. Yeah, we are. Um, but guys, my, from myself, Sue and Bob, thank you so much for um, watching this episode. And um, yeah, we can't wait to see you guys next week, Sunday. We're having a little break on the midweek special videos for a few weeks. Um, and then we're going to be back with the, the midweek video. So until next Sunday, from all of us, enjoy the week. And we'll see you next Sunday. See ya.